Excellencies, esteemed colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to address colleagues whom I respect so deeply on the occasion of IFPRI's 40th anniversary and the launch of Compact 2025. These milestones come between two historic moments of world leaders adopting a new sustainable development agenda and in four weeks' time, negotiations that we hope will produce a new global climate change accord. As I have often said, agreements and declarations don't feed people. But what moves us closer is that these plans recognize that three quarters of the world's poorest and hungriest people live in rural areas and they must be at the heart of our work as we move forward. But the people in our rural areas deserve a place at the center, not simply because of their vast numbers. We need to focus on smallholders because they are the engine of sustainable and inclusive rural transformation. These rural women and men have a significant role to play on building a food secure world and ending hunger and malnutrition. But before they can do that, they need something from us. They need targeted investments. Investments in poor rural women, for example. So often, women have limited access to land, credit and services. Yet, gender equality and empowerment for rural women are essential to achieving all of the global goals, not just those related to food security and nutrition. We also need to invest in rural young people who will help us create a better future. Too often, youth drift to the city in search of better jobs. This adds pressure to urban areas, even as it robs rural areas of a precious resource. When young people see investment flowing into their villages, they have a reason to stay. By contributing to rural economies, young women and men help provide nutritious food, protect ecosystems, and strengthen the social fabric. And yet, climate change threatens to undermine these efforts. Already, climate change has reduced the availability of water and led to price hikes in food and increased food insecurity. By investing in adaptation, we can enable smallholders to build resilience restore degraded ecosystems and reduce their carbon footprint. Let us not, however, forget that to be successful, we also need to invest in research. So as we look back on the good work that has been done by IFPRI and others over the past 40 years, I ask that you also look toward the future and a vision of a world without poverty and hunger, with rural women and men in our hearts and minds. It is through them, after all, that this vision will be realized. Mm -hmm.